kill anybody. Well, well, the law may not see it that way, Vic. What? It's a stag party, right? You know, stag party? Drugs everywhere, we, we're paying a young woman to take her clothes off? There's not a judge or a jury that's gonna be sympathetic with us. Or a lawyer. And I know. And at the end of the day, uh, guilty or not, how's this gonna look? For all of us. Especially if you're running for mayor, huh? City council. Whatever. Fuck. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, fuck. That is disgusting. Jesus, get rid of him. Oh. That, clean that fucking thing up. Jesus. Who the fuck are you? It bothers you. Clean it up yourself. All right, yourself. shut up. Yeah, take it easy, Pete. We're all pretty wound up. Just keep going. All right, off the record, we got two indisputable facts. We got two fucking dead bodies, right? With the exception of Ed and Timon who slept through the damn thing, we were all in the room at the time of the accident that led to the girl's death. We're all right here in this room at the time of the struggle that led to the escort's death. Yeah, meaning what? We're all in it together. <clears throat> Look, guys, I, I got this lawyer who's always cleaning up shit that happens to people on the show. You know, like drugs and stuff. So maybe I could give him a call, Vic. Well, call him. Call What the fuck do we have to lose? Call him. Nobody uses the phone. Do we figure this thing out? Listen, who the hell put you in charge? This is my goddamn house. The minute you decide to start thinking clearly, you can run things, Vic. All right? You heard what the man said? We're all in this together. We got two fucking dead bodies on the floor. It's a fucking I got crop. nothing to do. I didn't even want this goddamn party, well, you know? I'll wake you when it's over. This is our lives here, guys, huh? jobs, our homes, our reputations, everything is on the line here. Look, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry this whole thing happened, but I wasn't even in here. What? And I got a wife and kids to think about. Huh. I should get back to them. I should go, too. I don't feel well, really. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. We're in this together. That's right. Newspapers love this shit, don't they? Family men caught at the scene of the crime. <laughs> All the little secrets exposed. The whores are fucking. Little fairies they keep on the side. Jesus. Where did you come from, you son of a bitch? That's none of your goddamn business! I'm just like anybody else. I'm just another guy just trying to get along without hurting anybody. And fucking guys like you have been making me the outsider and pushing me around my whole goddamn life. Well, not this time. You know what? I'm not gonna let you. anybody about that, would you, Pete? I mean, that isn't necessary, is it? Well, that's interesting. Anybody else? What, now, you're gonna blackmail us? You don't know me. Well, yeah, you're a real puzzle, Ed. Nobody leaves. Yeah, he's right, Ed. Uh, you can't leave. At least not, not until we figure this out, huh? We can't let you leave. Frank, what am I gonna do here? Well, you can get dressed. You're a fucking joke. Mike, what are our chances here? I mean, uh, what can they charge us with? Now for the girl? Reckless endangerment? The least we would get would be manslaughter? For the uh, escort, because he was trying to leave and presumably acting in self-defense? I don't know. Uh, murder in the third. This isn't happening! What does this add up to? I I'm just guessing here, guys, but uh, five to 15, depending on the amount of blame assessed to each individual. Not to mention a possible kidnapping charge for the girl being held right now. Everyone in this room be accessory after the fact. 
All right, take eight as a minimum. Cut it in half with parole. Time off for good behavior. It's still four years. Yeah, well, I don't have four years to give from my life. Neither did she. Four years. Could be a lot fucking worse, especially if you're on parole. Oh, my God, you're on parole? I sell drugs, Timon. Yeah. It fucks up people's lives. Oh, good one, Vic. It's a fucking guy. Six years I got away from your bullshit. And I built a life, a damn good life, and one night you come along and you fuck it all up. How the fuck is this all my fault? Because you're the one that pushed us into that blanket toss with the girl. He's the one that, isn't he? I mean, the one that started the thing with the escort? You know what I think? I think we should turn him in. Is that what you think, old buddy? <laughs> Just like you, Slider. Always pass it on to somebody else, isn't it? I don't think that seems very fair about this one, do you? I don't think that's gonna work this time. Oh, Pete, Pete! Victor, Victor, put your gun down. Are you crazy? crazy? You both out of your fucking minds. Victor, Victor, just put the gun down there, please. Listen, get down, Pete. Victor, put the guns down. Pete. Put them down now, do it! Pete is an asshole. Look, you can't blame this all right now. Our fingerprints are all over this place, man. Matter of fact, you need to write your fingerprints right off that gun, okay? Just put the gun down, Victor. Put it down. Shoot me, Victor. Hey, redial a beautiful fucking thing. What are you doing? I heard the escort guy call the agency before. What are you gonna say? Hey, is that a good idea? I don't know. I... Yeah, hey, it's Stoker. Yeah, listen, uh, we're out of here. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's a bad fucking connection. Listen, we're not gonna make the O'Malley thing, no. Yeah, all right. Later. <laughs> Done. <laughs> For the moment. One moment of time, asshole. Vic, Vic, can we put the alarm on? Yeah, I guess, yeah. There's sensors in the doors and windows to let us know if anyone comes near the house. What we need now is a story, boys. One that we all get in on together, one that gets us all off the hook, and one that the whore upstairs is gonna go along with, huh? Oh, come on. Why would she do that? That's her sister lying there. But she sells her fucking body for money. She's got a price, we meet it. Hello? Guys, guys, guys. We, we might not even need her cooperation. How's all my... You could come up with a scenario. I mean, uh, the girl was, uh, she was jealous of the other two girls. The girl and the guy, right? And uh, she got high and she shot him. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those kinky little uh, love triangles. It's a plausible motive and it happens all the time. We'd have to be comfortable with blaming the prostitute. Yeah, how many are we? One, two, three, four. We're ten. Ten witnesses. Ten against one. So it, could, it could work, couldn't it? Yeah. All right, the alarm's on. A lot of things happened here tonight. One technicality, one little thing, the story blows up in our face. And we all go down. Dan, that's a possibility. There's another possibility here, boys. The broad disappears altogether with the bodies. All we know is they left. Sounds like what we're all trying to avoid here, Pete. What's the matter? You don't got enough blood on your hands. Just talking about a woman disappearing. A lot of ways to disappear. Leave the country. Live a nice life in the tropics with some fat offshore account. Never hear from them again. Yeah, that could solve everything. That could solve everything. Yeah, sure. If you could live with that. Now listen, I'm not a young man anymore. I've got a wife, I've got kids, I've got grandkids, and I'm not going to fucking jail over an accident. Oh, 
I'd be ruined too. Come on, we all would. You guys, know. guys, guys, we all agree there, there are options here. We just need to find one that works for all of us. Yeah, right? but we all gotta stay together. You too, Dan. Oh, he's with us. He's shot with a dead man gun. He's in front. Okay. I'm in, but not because you say so. I'm in on one condition. Okay, Dan. What would that be? Whatever we do, we all have to agree. Unanimous or nothing. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Great. John, John, wanna join us here? I got a film career ahead of me. Agreed. We understand, John. Ben, Frank, Timon, Taylor, please. Agreed. 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 Okay. Ed, Vic. Ed, don't make me say it. Don't make me part well, of this insanity. Like this shit, Agreed. I think it's your call. It's your party. What are you gonna do? All right, agreed. Let's just do it. Okay. Okay. <gasps> That's the cops. I knew it. No, it's the alarm. Just sit down, everybody. John, come with me. You okay, Dan? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Listen, the code to turn off the alarm is it's downstairs uh, next to the box in the morning. Just, just punch in the numbers and hit reset. This one isn't working. Just go do it. Okay. Hey, Ted. Huh? Oh, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you, Vic. No, it's... But, uh... God. <laughs> this heat really saps you, doesn't it? Yeah, it's hot. But, uh... I thought I heard a gunshot a while ago, and, uh... <laughs> I haven't been able to sleep since. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Actually, uh, some of my buddies are throwing me a stag party. I'm getting married in a couple of weeks. Uh, one of them is messing around with fireworks, and then that's that's probably what you heard. So it's nothing. Hey. Oh, yeah, it's just my uh, neighbor. Oh. Uh, oh. Michael Barnes, please meet you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Ah, oh, yeah, I, I spilled a drink. Bloody Mary's <laughs> messy. So you, you're getting married? Yeah, I am. Well, I that's am. just great. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we're very happy. So all the guys are waiting for you. Hey. Okay. Okay, okay I'm going to go back inside, but when we come back from our honeymoon, I'll, um... I'll give you a ring and we'll yeah, we'll hook up, okay? Yeah, sounds great, Vic. I look forward to okay. uh, have a good night. We'll see you. Neighbor, Vic took care of him. <laughs> 